How? How did I not notice this? I am like shocked right now. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. So since you guys love the thrift flip last week so much, I decided that I'm going to do another one. This time I'm going to be using these pants right here. These are like some really, really, really like oversized pants. They don't look like too horrible on me, but at the same time I do kind of feel like a fat genie in them. Oh, wait, <laughs> how? How did I not notice this? How did I not notice this? I am like shocked right now that I did not notice this when I was buying them. Look at this big hole. I always, always, it never fails. There's always imperfections that I miss in the thrift store. This right here is probably one of the biggest <laughs> mistakes that I have done so far. Well, I mean, listen, on the bright side, at least they were only a dollar. It's not the biggest deal. This is not my style at all. But since they are so bright and so happy, I decided to give them a chance. Transform them into some other magical outfit. My plan is, well, let me rephrase this. My plan was to make like a cute little skirt and then to make like a triangular top with an o-ring yes i want to do more o-rings because because so i will need a pattern what i'm going to be using is the bralette pattern that i made a little while ago and then i'm also going to need to do the bottom part of like where the fabric is actually going to be on the o-ring and the way that i'm going to do that is by drawing a rectangle the same length that these two pieces are when they're put together. And then I'm just going to have to do the cut and slash technique that I've used before. And make this part a lot wider so that when I actually do fit it onto the O-ring, it scrunches up and it has like that wrinkle effect. Getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move. I have my pattern pieces now. I'm going to start working with the bottom of the pants. That's where I'm going to start cutting out all the pieces. I'm still a little bit in the hopes that I'll have enough fabric for the skirt. Considering now that there's so much imperfections in these pants that I never noticed, I'm kind of doubtful that I'll have enough fabric. I'm still hopeful. Like, fingers crossed. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to make something with a hole in it, right? Baby, There's barely space left. So this is what is left of the shorts so far. My plan was to make it more of like a fitted skirt. I'm kind of thinking maybe that's not gonna work out. So what I was thinking is just taking this, eliminating this inseam right here, and just making it into like a little flowy skirt or something like that. I figured maybe if I keep the pockets, that's another plus. <laughs> I don't wanna lose these babies right here because that's kind of comfortable. So this, this right here needs to go. Folding the pants over in half everything is nice and even hopefully i'm not gonna make this too short i'm quickly like marking off where that inseam is right there everything is nice and flat i'm gonna start about like somewhere right there right wait hold on you know what maybe i should take out a ruler i'm gonna make it straight like that let's go for it let's go come on cut it like that it's garbage well not really this can actually be used for some straps it is now officially a skirt. It's not pants, it's not shorts. The only thing that I'm left to do is just even out the hem. Um, and I'm done with this. This is really like quick and easy. On to the top now. <laughs> These two pieces get sewn together first to make one, um, but you need the other one. Wait, so I don't think I have enough pieces. Holy be Jesus, hold on. I guess me talking out loud and telling you guys how many pieces and what I'm going to need. It really just hit me that I'm not going to have enough for the lining of these tops. I'm feeling a little cuckoo, I guess. I don't have enough fabric for that, so that's why I'm going to take a plain orange cotton fabric. I think it'll work. It's only for the lining, so it's still a thrift flip.
I hope you guys can see the top coming along. So obviously, like these are the two cups, right? This is the bottom part, right? The O-ring is gonna come right here in the middle. It's gonna gather like that, right? And then this little piece is a little extension that's gonna be connected to this. It's gonna be part of like the back area. Um, so this part right here, that's the first thing that I'm gonna do right now. The bottom part is done. I need loops and I need some straps. I still kind of have not figured out how I'm gonna tie this. I have like it to be two little pieces of fabric left over right here. So this is what I'm gonna use for some loops. I think I can use this right here to make the straps. So I think I'm good. I think I'm set with that. So for the loops, I'm just taking these short little two and a half inch long straps and I'm just going to fold them in half and then place them on the back here. I'm going to have two of them like that, sort of placed evenly on the thing, on, on the back piece, <laughs> on the thing, the thing on the thing and the thing on the thing. So I have this piece right here, right? And I'm going to take the other piece that goes right on top, place it like that. And now the only thing that I'm going to sew is the bottom part, this part right here. I'm gonna sew this, but only up until maybe an inch away from where the seam is. I'm gonna leave all of that open. I finally got the chance to cut the long strip and I'm gonna make these into some straps. I'm just really glad that I was actually able to find enough fabric. I was this close to not having enough. Okay, like here's a little bit of a challenge for myself. It's 9.45 p.m. and I wanna finish this by like 10.30. I just wanna get this done with so that tomorrow I'm gonna edit the video and then Monday I need to post this for you guys. So, come on. I gotta keep it moving. Okay. I'm having a little bit of like technical difficulties. I don't know if it's because it's already kind of late and I'm tired, but I need to figure out which way I'm going to put everything together. I'm gonna put this off for tomorrow so that I don't make any really silly mistakes because that's kind of like what I'm known for. I'm gonna think this through in my dreams because that's apparently where like all my solutions to a lot of things happen. I'm gonna go to sleep, so good night. See you in like two minutes because Obviously, you're not gonna watch me sleep because that'd be really creepy. Really creepy. Tomorrow. Good morning. I have sort of like a fresh mind. I figured it out not while I was dreaming, but as soon as I turned off the camera, it just kind of like clicked in my head. Maybe you guys are making me a little nervous. <laughs> I'm ready to attach the cup with the bottom piece. I think I overcalculated here just a tad bit. That's okay. I mean, that's why we have some scissors or rotary cutters. So the only thing that I'm really left to do now is I want to zigzag this because I'm too lazy to use a serger. And then I also need to do a really close top stitch because I need to close this little part right there that I use to turn everything right side out. And then I'm going to be ready to put on the o-ring. Yay, this is so exciting. O-ring. Woohoo! Um, I just tried on the top 
and I don't really like it. It was kind of sticking out too much on the sides here, so I clearly need a dart. And it's a little bit too late to add a dart, but I'm gonna have to anyways to make it fit at least a little better. I marked off where I'm going to put the dart, and I'm literally just gonna put the dart with the top basically already like done. <laughs> I really do not feel like taking this apart. I'm a bit disappointed with this thrift flip. It's not my favorite to be honest with you. Maybe you guys would think different but I'm gonna put the dart in right now and I'm gonna show you how it came out. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to know my honest opinion, I really dislike <laughs> this thrift flip. But I guess that's sort of like a part of being human in a way. I'm not perfect. I'm not always going to make perfect things. I'm not really satisfied with it. If you think otherwise, then thank you very much. <laughs> so with that being said, if you did like this video, even if you didn't like the outcome, make sure you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!